Hello, my name is Enos and welcome back to the channel. This is Work and Wonder. Of course, the only channel on YouTube that talks about the mental health nursing OSCE. If this is your first time, please make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell. And anytime I upload the video, you'll be notified and you will come straight here and take a look at the video. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you very much for always coming to take a look at the videos that I post. And if you are also a newcomer, this particular channel is dedicated to helping people who are preparing for their mental health nursing OSCE. I've uh, had a lot of people who have watched the videos and God being so good, they've gone to take their exams and they've passed on one attempt. So in my last video that I posted, I did talk about some of the things that people did in 2024 with regards to the various stations and then they failed or some of the things that they were supposed to do but they did not do it and as a result they failed that particular station. I started off with the API which is the assessment, the planning, the implementation and evaluation and I said today I'm going to continue with the skill stations but yesterday or uh, the day that I posted that particular video I realized that it was just too long so what I've decided to do is that I'm going to take the skill stations because there are six I'm going to take them two to each and then I will talk about some of the things that people did that failed them in that particular skill station or some of the things that they were supposed to do and they did not do and as a result of that they failed so today we'll be looking at intramuscular injection and then physiological ops these are the first two skill stations that I'll be looking at and then we'll first look at the intramuscular injection we'll look at some of the things that people did that failed them or they failed to do and as a result they failed um, we all know that intramuscular injection is a 12 minute station this um, came into play somewhere around July um, August there about where they made some reforms to the mental health nursing OSCE and then they took out the suppository administration and they replaced it with the intramuscular injection so this is a 12 minute station and within these 12 minutes you are supposed to be able to perform this procedure right from top to the bottom so now let's look at some of the things that people did or they failed to do that actually failed them in the intramuscular injection skill station the very first one is not confirming the name of the patient so i had the opportunity or some candidates have shared their report with me and out of that at least one or two of them did not confirm the name of the patient especially when they go to get their items and then they come back to the patient they fail to reconfirm the name of the patient and as a result of that they failed this particular station then the second thing is using one needle for both um, withdrawing the medication and then injection so there are some people who only picked or there are some candidates that only picked one needle and they use that needle to withdraw the medication as well as using that same needle for the injection and then tramuscular uh, injection skill station you're supposed to have two needles where you're going to use one to withdraw the medication and then you take it off and then you use a new one for the injection and in selecting these needles you have to consider the site of administration usually um, the scenario might state to you whether it's a deltoid whether it is a gluteal and then based on that you'll be able to select the appropriate type of needle for the injection then the third thing is recapping the needle after injection so some people after injecting they recapped the needle which is not supposed to be the case once after injecting straight away it goes into the sharp bean don't be tempted to recap if you recap it they can't fail you for that then the fourth thing is assessing the site of injection um, some people did not assess the site of injection so you have to look at the side whether it is the gluteal whether it is the deltoid whether it is on the thigh you have to make sure that you assess the site to make sure that that particular site that you would be injecting um, you know the site is actually um, good for you to use it so for example if they are like wounds if they are like lacerations or there's anything that can prevent you from using that site then obviously you have to change the site of injection so please make sure that you assess the site of injection and then you have to verbalize this as you are doing it then the technique of it administering the medication so we all know that when it comes to intramuscular injection 
the technique of the needle going in at a certain angle you have to go in at 90 degrees because it's a muzzle it has to go in um, you know 90 degrees and even before you um, put the needle in the muzzle or through the skin you also have to stretch the skin so mostly you use the non-dominant hand or the hand that you're not going to use for the injection you put it on one side and then you stretch it after stretching it then of course now you can now inject the purpose of this is once you hold the skin and then you pull it to one side the skin falls over the other ones that are below so if you go in this way and now you take out the needle and you leave the skin you see that the skin comes back and now the hole that you created in the skin it goes over the other one and as a result you wouldn't have the medication coming out of the hole but then if you don't stretch the skin and then you go in merely you come out you realize that sometimes you can have some of the medication coming out of that um, tiny skin that the needle has created that is the purpose for you flapping or you stretching the skin before you know you put your needle in it and of course anytime you want to also administer you have to make sure that you clean the area if the area is not clean before you put your um, your needle there and then it is also stated categorically in the marking criteria that if it is the gluteal muscle which is on the bottles you can always uh, when you put the needle at a 90 degrees angle after stretching the skin you can always pull back to see whether you are actually in a muscle or you are in a blood vessel um, before you inject then we have wrong documentation that's the last thing um, some people even though it is likely that it's only going to be one medication on the prescription sheet some people are still wrongly documenting it after they have um, you know administered their intramuscular injection i can understand that sometimes you might in between from right from the beginning to the end in between you might do a lot of talking and things so at the end you realize that you have just one minute or 30 seconds or even 20 seconds so you are kind of rushing to sign the medication and when you are doing when you are rushing sometimes you can um, sign at the wrong place so so even though intramuscular injection um, has just been introduced in the last three two months but these are some of the mistakes that a lot of people are doing and then they are failing their intramuscular injection as a skill station in the mental health nursing OSCE. now let's quickly look at physiological observation physiological observation is something that any nurse at all can do because once you start um, your nursing career uh, right from your first year these are some of the things that you do when you go for your placement in the various wards they let you do physiological ops or vital signs so right from that time to the time that you complete most mostly everybody is able to do it but here there are some one or two things that you have to take note of and these things have failed people in the physiological observation and um, the very first one has got mostly it has just got to do with documentation the first one is no date and then no time so they don't put any date they don't put any time they just go ahead and start recording their pulse their bps and at the end they get filled for not putting the name and then the date on the news to sheet and then um, wrong documentation as well sometimes you take the vital signs you take maybe the bp and then you want uh, on the news to you are not able to document it at where it is supposed to be documented so that's one of the things that have also failed a lot of people and of course wrong news to score after you've even documented it the various scores that you are going to get for these parameters that you have taken you have to take your time to calculate them well some people did not take their time to calculate it or they assigned the wrong scores to the various parameters that they have taken and as a result that also fill them then the last thing that has filled almost let's say all the report that i've seen has filled about half of them was not counting the pulse and the respiration for a complete two minutes if you are counting the pulse manually you hold the pulse and then you are counting always verbalize that i can feel the pulse and i'll start counting now then you start to look at your time and then you make sure that you count for a complete two minutes so the first one minute for the pulse and then the second one minute for the respiration i always advise that yes you count for a complete two minutes but always allow some at least some 
uh, you know five seconds or six seconds on top of the two minutes just in case you are not sure that it was actually up to two minutes at least those five seconds or six seconds or even ten seconds will cater for the other you know seconds that you are not sure that it was really up to the you know the two minutes so always count at least two minutes ten seconds or two minutes um five seconds just to be sure that you've actually counted for a complete two minutes because before you start the assessor will also start counting with you and it's quite funny but it's not that funny because some people they say they counted for one minute 57 seconds somebody even one minute 58 seconds so you can imagine just two seconds and then they fill the person so please make sure you count for a complete two minutes so i think um generally these are the things that people did not do or these are the things that they did and as a result they failed both the intramuscular injection and the physiological observation as a skill station yes so that has been the video for today um i'll continue with it in the next video i don't want the video to be too long like the very first one that i posted that's why i'm kind of dividing it into bits and then um please make sure this is a new year let's make sure that we get to 2k before uh, at least the end of february so make sure you subscribe to the channel if you have not make sure you share to other people that you know that they are preparing for their mental health nurse in Oski and you know refer them here to come and take a look at it as usual my api booklet um, link will be in the description you can click on it and then you can have access to that uh, my name is inos and this is work and wonder until i see you again in my next video it is bye for now